if you mess up, I can put music in later. But tell me, you know. I get a lot done on these trips. No, just kidding. I don't think I can get out down there, though. Nope. Mm -mm. Yeah. You should get one of these F-150s. These are nice. Look at all the room, plus a bed. And they're everywhere. And you can get parts for them. And you don't get raped working on like Toyotas and stuff. If you come across a good deal, let me know. No, I will because I'll Marty's best friends owns the Ford. That's where I got this one. I only mm -hmm. paid nine grand for this. I'm down for it. And to see how smooth it rides. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were driving, you know, 50 miles each way to work, they're not the greatest on gas mileage. I average mm -hmm. about, well, right now, 19.3. Mm -hmm. But they're a beast in the winter. Get an all mm -hmm. four-wheel drive one. Mm -hmm. And they're smooth. I need a new car too. And it's full frame. What do you mean by it's that? It's a full frame. It's not some cheap unibody that crush crumbles in a car accident. It's the oh, old, it's just, it's a legit yeah. truck. Yeah, I like that. Um, you see how smooth it rides and everything? Mm -hmm. Now one, the downside is, is they're a little tough to park. You know, you're not paralyzed parking in front of the bookstore in Traverse City easy. Oh, you know, uh -huh. so there are bad things. But as far as room and comfort, plus you got a bed and you can tow like a huge trailer. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I was kind of looking at Honda Ridgelines I, you know, and I'm, things like that. I'm done with those foreign cars. And and these ride so much better. And when you go to get something fixed in those, those Hondas and those Toyotas, they kill you. A new one's like 70 grand. Mine is a 03 and I'm still driving it. Yeah. Um, something's going wrong with that overdrive. Yeah. And I guess it's not worth it to fix it, apparently. That's what the mechanics said yeah so I'm kind of driving it until it drops at this point but I'm looking oh, wait, too. how many miles on it almost 200,000 yeah see if it was American like my Astro Van mm -hmm. 456 never a problem mm -hmm. and the oil line broke and then it, I started having problems but I mean what do you want for 456 mm -hmm. I paid 15 grand for that brand new oh nice I think I paid like 27,000 for my van but that Toyota stuff is uh they kill you on everything on those damn things, and they're, I've realized and since I had this, this, see how what a nice ride this is? Mm -hmm. This is like the old Lincoln Continental. Mm -hmm. They're safer in a wreck. Yeah. You got seats back here, bed, mm -hmm. and they got every variation of these in the world. Bigger engines, not smaller. It's got a six in it. Does it have that one thing where it, the turbo... Like yes, blasts. which I don't want, but there's no way you're going to have something this big and drive it with anything other than an eight cylinder unless you're turbocharging a six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm but, but I'm telling you, if I were you for your situation, I wouldn't get the six because you're not driving far. And it's you don't need to fool with the turbo. There's one big worry in the back of everybody's mind, yeah, because I'm not calling right, yeah, the trailer yep. or anything, yeah. But this pulls like crazy weight, even this turbocharged six. Uh, speaking of the Astro, what are you doing with that? I think I'm going to take it back. Stupid, really bad. I love the just thing. refurb it? Yeah, put another engine in it and just like, have fun on it. Heck yeah. Zip around in that thing. Yeah. You know, down there you have to have good air conditioning. I mean, we've already had 94 degree days. I saw three Astros in Hawaii. Right Did you really? Home. Yeah, they looked in really good condition too. Yeah, they no, no salt. Right, exactly. Yeah. I mean, they have a, a salt air, but yeah. it's the wind is yeah. constant. Yeah. Reception now. Are you? Is that an Android? Yeah. I Plug it in. Yeah, it's a Galaxy. Plug it in. Oh, okay. Is that what you got too? Yeah. That's what I got. Ooh, it depends. If you turn it off, it'll charge faster. I mean, fast, it'll charge fast if you turn it off. So you want to go this way? Um, It's up to you. It's up to you. Because the uh, lighthouse is you that way. you want to go way. there? Sure. Right. I don't have my damn uh, plate on. I got my plate, but it's not on here. Do you think they'll be open today? Yeah. 
Absolutely. There's a lot of cars on the road. We better go this way. Because uh, they won't let me in with my plate. Because I oh, got yeah. a temp temporary tag. But I have my Michigan plate. Let's go to Q Lake then. Okay. It's a little bit closer anyway. Where is it? Where could we get a good whitefish sandwich, you know? Some old bratty greasy thing. Uh, or something better that I don't know about. Why are you here for my idea? For whitefish sandwich, because I always just cook at home. And but where are you getting whitefish? Not not I'm not. Actually I'm eating Lake trout? Yeah, yeah. From Cindy and Ed. Do they ever catch any whitefish? You know, I don't think so. Yeah, I bet you they don't. Yeah. gets dicey whether or not that treaty allows for that. It's being fought over right now and, and we have active fishermen. This, they support their families with fishing. So they can't say, oh you guys aren't even fishing, you know. Yes we are. Isn't this gorgeous right here too? Yeah, the white. This color right here. Yeah. Do they have much, do you ever hear any crime up here? Oh yeah, we got crime up here. You got people. How about dope? Oh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. A lot? Yeah. Um, I would say less opioids and more meth now. Yeah. And of course marijuana uh, legalized is now very pervasive. Um, and then you know we're inundated with breweries and wineries up here too so it's like everybody's under the influence of something. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> But I, bet, I wonder if they've got any, like, that's ever talked about, like, because I'm sure you could bust people all day long for being legally drunk coming out of a wine tasting. Oh, you know what? Sorry, we passed Kill Lake without even thinking. It's, oh, it's back there before I saw, the bike. I saw the sign. Yeah. And I wasn't sure that's where the lake was. No, they let me in Taos the other day, but she said she couldn't do it again. If the ranger saw me, I'd get a ticket. That might be the same woman that ran into at Tawas last year. Long hair, looks like an old flower child, real sweet. Um, this one was an older woman. Yeah, this one is too. You can tell she was really cute at one time. I don't think she had long hair though, the one Yeah, this I one had, had like long She might be that good looking one on the mamas and papas. Only old. <laughs> what a great job though. Yeah, you know, a lot of that's for free. They get to stay in the light, lighthouse and stuff. Oh. It's a volunteer deal. Because I thought I paid for that. For yeah, your my pass, Michigan thing. My tags. Yeah, it comes with it. They ask you. Yeah, and then I pay more, and I'm pretty sure I did. No, they, I bet you the girl at the clerk, or you didn't check the box. So um, she's freaking out. She's Which way do I go got, straight? Yeah, this is actually just around the corner. But, um, well, you know what? It was my tags that were expired. Really? You yeah. know, that's a misdemeanor. It was, uh, that's a it misdemeanor. Was early, it was mid-September, and they expired in July. And she was like, oh my god, your tags are expired. Oh, you gotta go right now to the Secretary of State. And she was telling me the hours and stuff. Yeah. And I'm looking at her, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And I pulled over, and I got online, and I renewed my tags. Yeah. And bingo, I was good. It's right here. I'm right here. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and then I was good to go. But don't you like this truck? And yeah, it's, it's nice, it's big. Really nice. Yeah, it's a great deal. You could probably even get away with get away without four wheel drive, but I'd get it if I could. Actually, this was supposed to be four wheel drive. They made a mistake, all wheel drive. But I oh. took it anyway. Um, I use four wheel drive. My Subaru used yeah. to be an all wheel drive, yeah. and it was it got around. Um, 
on the snowy roads just perfectly. It was great. Like I was isolated up in the UP by lawns. Uh, my yeah. brother has like 150 acres up there. Yeah, that property's been really going up. to do though. Well, he is in a status of he allows people to hike and hunt. Oh, okay. Right, right here. Hunt too? Yeah. And he doesn't restrict their access. People cannot camp or have fires. Who insures it? Hmm? Who covers if somebody gets hurt? It's like a, a county okay. thing. Okay, yeah. That if he allows people to hike on his land and hunt, yeah. then his property tax is 100 bucks a year. Oh, good. As soon as he builds a house and or restricts people's access, yeah. then he goes up to the, you know, regular homeowner type okay. taxing. He had some guys pull up there and start cutting his trees down. Oh, I believe it. Yep. They don't know any there. better, though, he probably. Said, what are you doing? Oh, we're, you know, low, 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 low. So and so said we could do it. The owner, the owner said we could do it. And my brother's like, oh, really? What's the owner's name? Oh, let me, let me pull it up on the plat, the plat here for you. I don't know, whatever. And Jimmy's waiting for them to, you know, show the proof. And he was just by, biding his time, seeing what they say. Yeah. And then he pulled the trigger. And he's like, you know, I'm the owner. And you have an hour to get your stuff out of here before I call the cops on you. You know, the state's very big time in, in uh trespassing laws like mm -hmm. as an example indiana's got the blue dot rule which means that if you're out driving around it's up to you to look everywhere you plan on going for a blue dot and if there's one stay off and if you get caught on there you're done you don't none of this permission or misunderstanding now in georgia where we're at they have signs but people don't really understand them what the signs is criminal intent for theft over a hundred dollars okay and everybody thinks you're covered when you put no trespassing but you're not on civil trespassing which is a guy like me that's back there with my gopro camera i go back there and the guy said can't you read it's like yeah i could read but i wanted to come back here and take pictures anyway he said well it's either him or somebody with the authority to ban me from the property now if they catch me again a trespassing ticket sticks but up until then it doesn't mean squat so there's a big difference between civil and criminal mm -hmm. in detroit they're smart for all the crazy shit they do you uh, you have to have written consent in writing, in your pocket, and present it, or you're getting a ticket too, and it's sticking, which I agree with. This guy do one. Those are nice. They're about 125 grand loaded. It's so he's backing in. Yeah. yeah. Can get some pictures here. Oh, good. Yeah, that is an awesome camper. Yeah. Yeah, I like the phone. I like my phone too. Yeah, it takes the best pictures. No, they do. I know. Only thing I don't, I don't really like the video. Like when the sun's setting and stuff, it's a shitty color. It should be good. Now, if I videotaped it and uploaded it later, but when I'm doing a live, the video sucks oh. on the colors. You know, now if I want to hit those settings and dark and stars and all this bullshit, but sometimes you're not yeah. set up for that. Yeah. And also if you're using this camera, it's only like one camera, but yeah. if you are aiming that way, then you use all, all the cameras. Oh, is that how it works? All the lenses, yeah. How's that? That's, that's a better... What do you mean? Um, how do you do that on it? Well, I think whenever you're doing your lives, it's using those cameras, all of them? right? I thought, I thought it was using one, but yeah, you might be I right. Know. I don't know. Yeah, my daughter's the one that told me about that. She was like, why are you taking pictures with, like, this? She's like... And the, and the, and the video, and the, uh, the, the photos are good of the stars, mm -hmm. but the video isn't worth a fuck. Great, great, great. That's a cute little lake. Yeah, cute lake. Yeah, I'll keep my eye out. I mean, nice thing about Georgia trucks, no rust. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and you can get these worked on everywhere, man. It's like there's a billion. It's the all-time selling vehicle ever. 
the this Ford F-150. Oh. Yep. They, plus, they hold their value. Which is sucks when you're buying a used one. Oh, because you got to pay a lot. Yeah, but I mean, they're worth it. Yeah, used cars right now is, Nuts. is what is... I'd drive yours mm -hmm. to you. But I could always drive yours up or you could take it back with you or something. I'll get you one because this buddy's got both owns a Ford dealer. That's where I got this one. This was one owner. He bought it from them and he traded into them. Straight? Yeah, we headed to the food truck. Yeah. Yeah, so that would be heading out. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is one of the kind of the hidden um, gems of the area. What was that? hundreds of thousands coming up and uh, you know getting all this shit paid for me. I don't know about that. But if you're born here you don't get any of it. You know what Put I mean? Them to work. Well you know you can if they're illegal. You know, I gotta turn? Yeah. Where? So right here. Right? Mm-hmm. See now this one how would this go anywhere? It takes us back into Northport. Oh it does, huh? Oh. And then the pretty shots would be out that way. There's that big long back end I was referring to. Oh. Like catch curves. A badonk a donk yeah. truck. Yeah. No, just kidding. Look how pretty it is. Yeah, it is pretty. Mm -hmm. Now, are these houses all big bucks? These are more cabins. Oh, okay. These have always been here. I'm sure if you were to try to buy one now, it would be yeah. jacked up, yeah. like triple. Yeah. Now, and you're you own the house, but you lease the land, right, or something like that? Sort of. That's how it it is um, because it, it's trust land, so it's, that means it's in federal trust. Yeah. So do you have to pay income tax? Um, I pay federal property tax. I mean. Um, we do not because the tribe in lieu of property tax, we pay 2% gaming revenues oh, okay. to the, the local forms of government in lieu of property tax. Oh, okay. Is that, how does that turn out numbers-wise? Um, a lot. Like Lower or higher? $1.5 million dollars disbursements. I mean, are you paying more than you would if you paid tax, property tax like anybody else or less? You know, I never really looked at it. I'm sure, you're get, I'm sure you're getting hosed some kind of way. Um, so it's just not like, a, like them to give you a break. It's a compact with the state of Michigan. Yeah. And then, um, so there were, uh, there were terms to the contract. Yeah. And if the state ever opened their own casino, yeah. then that would make the contract null and void. Oh, okay. And then we would not do any more 2% disbursements. Oh, okay. And I think the, the state did open a casino. I'm no not way. Sure. I'm not sure. I wonder where that would be. Is that in Detroit or in Lansing? Not that I know of, but it could be. And so the, my tribe is still doing the 2% though. We're oh. still doing it. Well, how about that lady that got that big chef bureau of Indian Affairs that's actually Native American? How's, how's she doing? Oh, Deb Holland? Yeah. Great, great. Um, her assistant actually is a guy from Bay Mills. Oh, really? Brian Newland, yep. Mm hmm. So. It's got a cost of fortune to keep that. Uh, medical clinic open though, doesn't it? My clinic? Yeah. Um, so we could bill third-party billing yeah. through insurances yeah. and um, if if our billing department actually did accounts payable and receivable yeah. and 
and get reimbursement. Uh, yeah, that was part of it. You've got to be on top of that. So our clinic actually has been in the black in the past. Yeah. And um, it depends on who's managing us. If oh, okay. we are on top of our billing and then have revenue coming in. So. Fisheries. Why? And he won't say why. He'll only use Carlson's out of Oh, that's not nice. Yeah, and it's like, um, okay. I and thought all the fishing was tribal. No, mm -mm. you got a um, fishing operation out of Leland. Um, is that that one with that Peggy Sewer or whatever it is? That big boat that's yeah, always there? Yeah. And there was one guy who um, is a tribal descendant. He doesn't really acknowledge his uh, native heritage, but he uses that to fish with yeah. trap nets or. Straight or right? Know. Oh, you would turn left. It said right only here. I can only go right, the sign says. What? Yeah, you know, look. Well, that's bizarre. And look, you got a mirror there, too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think you're safe. Look at these trees right here. Keep your or eye you go straight. No, I'll go left. Just keep your eyes out for cops. Wait to see the flashers. Let me know when they come in. Wee wee Some color is just... Yeah, gosh, beautiful. Everything is just vibrant. So does, does that... I've heard that restaurant only has like four tables or something. Which restaurant? The famous chef. I don't even know where he's working at. I thought he had a, one. Somebody has a little place in Sutton's Bay, like four tables or six tables. Oh, uh huh. Yeah, I don't know. You're, you get, you have any good pizza up here? Did I go right. Yeah, right, right here. Any good pizza? I like the pizza on the way out to Glen Arbor. Yeah. At M22 Market it has Left. the best Left. pizza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's my friend Pam's bookstore. Oh, your books. Yeah, is, it, is she opening up again? There. Yeah, she came up from uh, New Mexico about two weeks ago. Oh, okay. How's she doing? She's doing all right. She's maintaining herself right now. She's good. still grieving. It's been about a year since her. Oh yeah, he's a cool since. guy too, right? Yeah. He was a cool guy too. They've been together their whole life, so. Yeah, big loss for her. Yeah, she's gonna have to learn a new way to live. There's my friend's bakery. Big replace the sweet. Oh, how's that place do? She sells out quite a bit. Really? Mm -hmm. What is it, honor system? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a red bird. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it.
Chad goes, they go to this place in Leelanau. It's that Chef Eric. Mm -hmm. And they talk about the pizza. He thinks he's getting rich over there. But... Like Leelanau? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, no, I prefer M22 Market. They have this, um, they have Chicago crust. Or yeah. it's trait, where it's thicker. Chicago. Which I love. I love the thicker crust. See, I like thinner. Um, as long as it's a great, a good tasting bread. Yeah. And then um, it's uh, it has like those tomatillos on it. Yeah. And that's spiced. The tomatillo is supposed to be spicy hot sauce at a Mexican restaurant. Mm. Is that what they call your thing too? Not really, um, because it's the it's the fresh. It's fresh. Okay. It's like they just put it on top, and it has a little sweet taste to it. Oh, okay. It's like a tiny little tomato. Yeah. And um, artichoke hearts and black olives and feta cheese. You know feta cheese is the saltiest cheese there is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of look looky loos tourists driving around today. identify as minorities not through blood right well I was looking at it more of a philosophy yeah I got it yeah right yeah. so they were you know they are asking for support and help um, bringing light to uh, yet another telescope that's going to be put on another mountaintop and this is like a place where they um, hold sacred Philippines. I 
So what's Nate? What? what okay, so Nate is kind of a hybrid. Up there. Yeah. yeah. And it's mm -hmm. not that old of a culture, is it? Um, I don't really know. Um, I know that they had a thriving culture there, and they had like um, structure to their society. They had like a king and queen, and they oh, had monarchy. villages. Yeah. fake and I bought that from Ford it was all added on bullshit Isn't that crazy yeah fake turbocharger fake emblems they bought it back oh the other truck that you bought yeah total fraud I don't understand how that happened like somebody made it a fake? well now what it is, it was a Cobra but it wasn't a Shelby Cobra which is where the big bucks kicks in. The uh -huh. emblems, the kind of turbocharger they use. Uh -huh. It was all fake bullshit. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's weird. The irony to the whole thing is it actually had a better turbocharger on it than the expensive one that should have been. It's weird. I didn't want to, but you know, it's like getting a, buying a Rembrandt and finding out, you know, some uh, guy did it. It's, you know, one of those type of things. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to roll the dice on. Mm -hmm. Like it's a good looking painting, yeah. but it's yeah, not right. No problem. The yeah. yeah. So the other day, um, I was running past here doing a nice long run. Yeah. And I saw some salmon going upstream. No way. To spawn. Yeah. Really? Yeah. The water is not there. I didn't know they got up this far. Yeah. Well, they came up through there, through the years, um, like way, way back. I remember some Indian kids, Indian guys, going there and dipping for smelt. Yeah, I remember smelt was big. I don't even mm -hmm. think smelt are around anymore, are they? Yeah, actually, um, my stepson's brother, yeah. um, his other mother, <laughs> he went dipping over in Leland and um, gave Silas like a nice big baggie full of it. Really? And yes, fresh. I thought the smell dipping was all like around Manistee and stuff. Mm -mm. Nope. You got to be out there at the right time, though. Yeah, I know. A smelter of a version of sardines. Yeah, I cooked up like three big panfuls. The whole thing, and then you just didn't eat the head. Yeah, I kept the head on there. Some people eat the head. Yeah, I know. I eat the head. I eat the tails of shrimp. I don't think I ate the head. I eat. I eat the tails of the shrimp. I gave my heads to the dogs. Right, they loved it. But I think I noticed no boats in the thing, but that one. Concert. Oh yeah, he, are they out fishing? Um, I think he might have taken one, his main boat, over to Leland, and then he's got four other ones, but he has it dry docked over by his house over here. Oh okay. It needs some maintenance, I guess. Some of them need um, motor work, and then they all need a good coat of paint. So when they take it to Leland, they trailer it, right? What do you mean? No, he puts his boat out there. But I mean, you don't it. sail it from here to there, do you? Oh yeah, yeah. He he drives. How long does that take? To drive it over? No, I mean, if you were gonna, if you were at the Tribal Marina, oh, to you want to sail there. your boat over there? I don't think. It'd take forever, wouldn't it? Yeah, he. It's better just to trailer. Yeah. Over. Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of equipment do they have to lift that heavy stuff out of there? Right, yeah, but it's floating, so as soon as it touches 
the bottom of the water, then it can be enforced at its like. Um, yeah, dredging the yeah, damage like in the bottom. Yeah. You need to move it. But yeah. right now it's just floating, so nobody can do anything about it. So who owns that damn thing? I wonder how that old nasty ass looking boat able to stay out there. <laughs> I don't know. Remind me of Georgia now. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing, when you did the um, streets of Detroit, there's yeah. so many boats like that. I know, right in the middle of the road. Yeah, isn't that weird? Somebody told me that that's some gang thing, but I, don't, I never really verified it. Hmm. You know, like the hanging tennis shoes in the wire? Oh, that's weird. That's a dope area, too. Huh. I mean, it could be bullshit. I'm not sure. You're good. Now, this, this property, like, right here, would be worth a fortune, wouldn't it? Oh, God, yeah. Really? Yes. With a view? Yeah. Schiller tax at a high rate. Schiller debts, VW. It's not a race. Watch your window up. Oh, it's good right now. Thanks. Cute little setup, huh? Yeah, really neat, man. Mm -hmm. But like crazy money here, too, huh? Mm -hmm. So damn beautiful. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we were in uh, Hawaii, we went to the north end of the islands. Yeah. And it was going down like a, a street like this. Yeah. Um, for about a mile and a half. Halfway there, there was this herd of cows that was being herded right from across one, the road. One field to the next. Yeah. Because all of these cows coming at me, I was like, what is happening? My brain couldn't even process it. And Monty says, but you gotta pull over, you gotta pull over. And there, the rancher was on a ATV. Oh, and he was at the front and he was like oh, waving at me, pointing to the side. I was like, okay, okay, okay. So I pulled over and there was a truck behind me. He pulled over behind me. And the cows were coming straight at me. Monty was like, oh my god, they're gonna run into us, they're gonna run into us. They got puppies for sale. What are they? Puppies for sale. White dogs we saw running around. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. But I knew they'd go around us. <laughs> I got a short video of it. Cool. It's cool you can still have that stuff over there. Oh my god, they were so sweaty. Uh, the ranchers, and then the, there were two more people on the back helping women, and they're all native Hawaiian. They're all wow. on APBs. Excuse me. <coughs> so the one in the very back was this real skinny guy. And so I'm looking at him, and then he comes driving up, and he's looking at me, and we're just looking at each other, and so I waved and he waved back and started laughing and so I was laughing too. It was just like, what the fuck is happening right now? We're in a cow stampede. Now would a lot of people actually come to this Sutton's Bay to vacation or is it just like rich people that live there that are there most year round or what's the deal with that little town? I That's high end, isn't it? I'm not sure. I would say it's middle. Um, but as far as like, there's no hotels around. There's a bunch of Airbnbs, and so they were having a problem with those around Traverse City. They were trying to change it. Great, I, I think they um, they're allowing it now because there's such Not a fair. housing crunch. Yeah, but um, I think the Suns Bay and Northport are more of a destination. Like even Northport. Yeah, if you're staying somewhere else, but people come up and drive, drive up to stay. I mean, the, the tribe has a hotel. Um, yeah, how does that do? Pretty good. They're booked like every weekend through the whole summer for bridal parties. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you can't beat this place for bridal thing. Mm -hmm. There is a campground in Northport at the lighthouse. So that's still affordable. And actually, at the tribe in the casino, the far parking lot, um, RV 
these can hook up for 20 bucks a night. So that's a good deal. Yeah. I've seen people pitch a tent there too. That's cool. Look at those flowers. Yes. Pretty. They had their food truck there. A couple years. Yeah, but the one we just went to. Oh, that's new. I wonder where they were working before. He said Northport. Oh, he did. Mm -hmm. I thought he was talking about the food truck being there. His food truck. Yeah, they were. Um, he said usually they're in Northport on Fridays. Well, oh, that's what he was talking about—the food truck. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, they have music in the park and. So it's super popular in the summertime. We have live music and people dance and stuff. That's cool. Yep. So what's your plan for the next week or two? Yeah, I'll probably just be packing my books. I covered all my bases where I wanted to check out. Mm -hmm. I gotta get more work done, that's for sure. I put an ad for the condo in and, and some antiques, so we'll see, you know. I would like to get rid of that, I just have books to come get next time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Everything's selling within seven days. Yeah, no, it's crazy. So the population here is a lot bigger in the summer? Oh god, yeah. Okay, then women are going to try and stop traffic. Yeah. Is, that, is that theater still play movies? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like 20 bucks to get a ticket. But is it really? Mm -hmm. They get some good movies in there. need a good adult bookstore up here. No, I'm the man. Hmm. You could work part-time on the weekends. When are you going to open that business down in Georgia? Which one? Uh, bookstore? Adult bookstore? No, I want to do it up here. Yeah. Why here? <laughs> more people. More people. Uh oh. Less Baptists. I used to date a Baptist. Oh, you poor a thing. A Southern Baptist. He was an associate minister. Oh, you poor thing. That's where I learned a lot about the Bible and stuff. But I'd go, I went to church with him a couple times. Oh, God, were they screaming at them? Well, he's, the, the reverend started talking about the people in the audience who are not more saved. Yeah. Well, that's the advantage of being a Baptist. They mm -hmm. believe you can't, once you're saved, you don't, you can't lose your salvation. Mm -hmm. He was actually getting angry. He said, come up, come up now, come up and feel the spirit in you. Come up, be saved. And I was just there just to observe, you know, yeah. and learn and not exactly learn about religion or whatever. I just want to learn how other people live, you know. And yeah. So he I'm, he just started elevating his voice. He started getting angry. And so I was like looking around at everybody around me and they were kind of looking at me. They wanted me to go up and like go to the yeah. altar and be saved. and. I looked at that guy and I'm like, you ain't gonna get me up there by yelling at me. That's like, no, I do not like that. And that's what it's all about, is shaming people, yeah, shaming them guilty. into conformity. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like this, it goes like 180 degrees of who I am. Hey, so, you know when you, you come in off 72 and then you turn left and you follow the bay around? Mm -hmm. From there, for about five miles, was bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, like leaving Traverse City. Oh, okay. 
But what do you think that was? Do you think that was just an isolated incident? What Why would so? When I came here, when I'm on my way up here, because I'm gonna, if that's that way now, I'm gonna go a different way. Either. Yeah, it's busy like that. Leaving? It's really super busy, but that was probably people headed up north, like up to the bridge and. Oh, just passing through. Okay, yeah. Now, I don't mind taking a chance on that. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like a major thoroughfare to get up north, oh, okay. which is a doesn't make any sense to me that they make it go through the middle of the city with like tourists stopping their cars to unload their inner tubes and yeah. beach chairs. Yeah. And, yep. Oh my god. We're on the road for the next four hours and we gotta stop for you to unload your blow up floaties. So you had fun on Mark Kropka's live the other night, huh? Yeah, we had a good time. So much fun they can't, they took it off. Oh yeah, he gets he gets a ding quite a bit. Just randomly, all of a sudden he'll he'll go dead. I'd be on there more of it. I'm not really into that uh, music and stuff that much. Mm -hmm. I don't even listen to the radio when I drive usually. Once in a while. Do you? I sometimes I do. But do you listen to songs or like talk radio or something? Oh, music. Okay. My, my music. I, I find it hard on there. Um, he's a great guy and he's very accepting. And when Simka goes on there, because um, she, he wants to keep it open for anybody. Yeah. And he's accepting of her. And then she tries to pull her bullshit that we, her weirdness she's strange <clears throat> yeah she was like is this lately um like um, a couple months ago I don't you know, know her husband died yeah that's what i heard well she hasn't been on since has she oh uh, she's over on survivor girls yeah that's a good place for her yeah she fits in very well very judgmental no she's super strange yeah and brags she's... about being a uh, you know this great christian yeah and then she sits there and People yeah, yep. They should rename it the Karens of Yeah, I agree. Too. Anyway, I'm glad she's I, can't, gone. I can't be there and be civil. I'm glad she's gone. You know, it's yeah. like, she says one thing and then she portrays herself to be another. Yeah, that's thing. exactly what she does. Yeah. You're right. But she really laid low for quite a while. She wasn't like that for years. She was actually a good moderator, but, you know, so I don't know whether she got off medication or what. Highest attitude to her head. You know, I do not care if people are religious and they have their a different belief. Yeah. But don't start judging me with your ruler. You right. know, the yeah, yeah. It's it's super like, rude. Yeah, I don't do that to people. You know. I guess Bimbo looked like she lost some weight. Oh. Hmm. That's another music thing, you know. Oh yeah. I go on hers now and then. She's real friendly. I can't get into the music like they do though. They, no, they analyze yeah, it so either. much. No, and so they got the history and they got the knowledge and it's great. And I learn things from them. Yeah. But it's like, I, I have no comment. Is this your road? Yep. They're like, why did you choose that song, Mary? And I'm like, because I like it. <laughs> Tell them to put that Putnam Road sign up, too, back up. Oh, I didn't even know it was The big down. one. The big one. Yeah, they used to have a big one, Putnam. And then it got knocked down. Somebody stole it. For a souvenir. All right, well. Which driveway is yours now? Uh, mm, not, not that one with the sign, but with the white mailbox. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, right here at the... All right, will you party on? Look at my lilacs are blooming. They look good. Yeah, Um. so if you're gonna be around for a while, you yeah, well, I'll be you. around for a week or so. Yep. Okay, sounds good. All right, good seeing you. And that's your you handle that already? Carry that and the other stuff, or you want to come back? Um, yeah.
Yeah, I got it. Even the other one, remember her stuff in the back. Mm -hmm. Watch that door, it's heavy too. Whoops. You can get it all? Oh wait, my purse too. That would be bad. Yeah, and you got your phone, your purse. You got everything then, don't you? Yep. Will you party on? Thank you, Tom. Good seeing you, you're welcome. Great seeing you. We'll party on some more. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Alright, see you later. Bye bye.
simple life. How you doing? Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I got buffered out anyway, so you didn't miss anything. I'm on the home stretch now. Got a little metal. Hey, uh, simple life. Uh, what happened? I was up 35 bucks. Got down below 100. I'm tired today. And then I thought, if I get above 100, any more more I'm getting out of here. You know, that's what I put into it. 101 bucks. <clears throat> Cashed out, played for an hour. And I had fun. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you guys, are these Jersey Mike subs worth a shit or not? Are they any good at all? Hey, Tribbles. Yeah, I mean, I had fun playing too, but I was just tired. Oh, okay. Jersey Mike's. Anybody on here ever hit a Jersey Mike's? like a typical day for me. Oh, okay. Now, anytime, Simple Life. You know, it's the best for a person like you because you didn't have to put your morals on the line, but yet you still got the benefit of it. You'll, you may wait forever until the next one. to feel guilty about. Is that a new photo you have? Yeah, we had a good time. We always have a good time like that. I'm going to send her bra back to her. Yeah, sweetheart. No drama, just say it like it is. I think you guys would hang out a lot if you, uh, if you were, uh, lived closer. You'd really like, uh, j -Bo too. Yeah, that's how she is. No, she needs it. Jersey Mike's having it their way. You go in there, you order a sub, and you tell them what you want on it. Yeah, she is, yeah. They have three dragon's melts left.
See, I can't stand Subway. Oh, it's their gimmick. Oh, okay. get home with my new uh, 250 MPS upload speeds you're gonna you better just hide my channel for a while Jersey Mike's. I don't know what time they're open till. stage of the game I wouldn't I mean, I'm not saying they're bad but I don't want to look at a bunch of dinosaurs with perfume at least I should have the advantage of getting drunk yeah it looked like one didn't it I mean they probably th I, th I think what causes those things at this age is the women are lonely and the guys think they're going to get some ass, and then when they get there, they don't want any of it. I mean, it's hard enough when you're young to, like, meet people that, you know, it's going to work out with, let alone at this age. You know, and they got fucking baggage. You, I mean, the truth of the matter is, I've said this a thousand times, when you get older and your hormones are dead, you just don't have the oomph, you just don't have the desire to, like, use one percent of your energy to chase these old bags you know you're all over it when you're young the gas station at the store car wash college classes friends of yours girlfriends I mean but at this stage of the game it's I'd rather take a stick of dynamite up the ass I'm 
talking about a big stick too. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Now you, I wish you just. I want to find the perfect blowjob giver. That's what I want to find. Not a mate. Yeah, I mean, it'd be almost impossible for me. Even in the good days, man, I just, you know, I didn't, I just, it's just my kind of personality. It's just too much bullshitting around. Really, they did it with marijuana. I wish they would have done it with horror houses first. At least people going to horror houses aren't killing people on the road. It'd be almost impossible. Seriously. Yeah, really nice evening. Sure is. It's uh, 55, cooling down. I leave my window open a little bit. Hey, hey uh, Simple Life, I'll bet if uh, you became widowed or divorced, you'd know what I was talking about. It wouldn't be like those days staring down that Walmart aisle. As far as like dating and stuff. You're about at that age too. Yeah, no, I believe it. I, I wouldn't blame you. I mean, no, it's just like you got everything going against you. I could tell this was coming. Uh, yeah, right. No, I know what you mean. I knew this was coming. Uh, even when I was like heading into my like mid 30s, it's like I kind of got bored with it. And even when I had the chance to do it, I didn't. It wasn't anywhere near as fast. You know, that was a fake Shelby truck. It wasn't as fast as I thought it would be.
not terrible. It's not going well at all. I think I just hate doing it, doing it too much. It's going slow. But like I said, I don't really have any reason to get home now. Nothing to do. You know, my problem is in my life I have no deadlines. If you'd have told me, you know, you got a week to clean that place out or it's going to cost you 40 grand to move, it'd have been cleaned out. says my speed. It should be right at 60. 62. 60. Yeah, it looks faster. Like I'm going faster. I'm going exactly 60. the other day coming back from Mackinac. You know, I got an oil change right before I left and I've only got uh, 600 miles before I need another one. You'll hear this camera beep, which I don't care because I, I, I just let it run out. time. 